the best books about mod and well mod music from the 60s 70s 80s and lots of different books from the period as well as of course later and i'm going to run through some of them of course please put in the comments below if you've got lots of other books that are not mentioned as well as also your favorite books that are mentioned in this video it'd be really great to hear this one teenage revolution you should be able to find copies of this this one is of the time really fascinating book absolutely brilliant lots of great pictures there however there's not many particular pictures in the book so you've got one or two pictures but it's 1965 and it's just brilliant because it's filled with lots of information of the time sort of things what like the ties that people were wearing or what mascara use etc just fascinating information that probably not going to be mentioned later and also the people's opinions the kids opinions at the time what they were thinking that was going to happen maybe five or a couple of years later it's just a really really brilliant book love those sort of things i say you should be able to find copies of that this one is superb very similar but not actually done at the time but the articles in it are of the period and they're always just great this one is a mod anthology there, Paolo Hewitt, and it's just, well, it's just great. Lots and lots of different, very short, so they're short articles of the time, and you can see there the listing, Mark Boland, Days in the Life, The North Shall Dance Again, London Speeding, and so on, so Quant on Quant, etc. Really quite a fascinating book, and it's, there's no pictures in it, so if you just, you're just coming to it for pictures, definitely not any pictures, but it's got really great articles, you can really capture the period, and it's just well a joy to read from start it's one of those books that i quite often dip into this one is well it's actually also hasn't got any pictures it's another one with it but however which is odd since it's about pop art in britain i did have the original unfortunately i got rid of it years ago so i picked up a copy of in this second hand one and this is this is quite good it's all about film about the uh, pop art about the music scene as well but also earlier it's got like rhythm and blues. It's also got like Tommy Steele, etc. rock and roll. So it's not just solely about mod. There's certainly a section about sort of like 1965 behind the scenes, various the clubs, etc. Also other flower power, etc. So it's, it's still a, quite a fascinating read from George Melia. This one's good. This one's A to Z of mod. And it's got lots of colour pictures as well as black and white. And it's not just obviously of the time, but you've got uh, this one, interiors of shops and things. And you've got some, obviously, Cassie McGowan there. So it's, it's broken down, obviously, M, etc., etc. It's alph alphabetical. Mary Wells and Marvelettes. You've got Northern Soul. Lots and lots of examples of pictures. Quadrophenia, brilliant film. I love that film. It's one of those films that, if it ever comes on TV, I always put it on. And uh, also, of course, the DV, Blu-ray, etc., and Rickenbacker guitars, the small faces. So there's lots of great little articles about there. And obviously Oasis. So it's not just purely, obviously, of the uh, Brook Brothers. Quite an interesting little book. So that, But it's a quite a small book, you can see there. It's not very tiny. The A to Z and Power Hewitt. And now another one. This one's quite good. This one's in black and white. This was one of the earliest books I got, obviously, of the uh, 60s and mod music they are 60s of the original mods let's just go through it's got an interesting little article to start so it's you know there's obviously no pictures there but as soon as it gets into the pictures you can see the pictures there all black and white and yet it's full of some really good pictures some that turned up in other books but still fascinating and it's just some more examples there also various clubs now it doesn't particularly give much information in terms of where, where things were happening. So, I mean, this could be anywhere, the scene or whatever. And you've got obviously the examples there. But it would be nice if there was actually a, some, I love this one, all the various dances of the time, quite fascinating. But again, no actual information about what, you know, was this 1966, 1965, unless you happen to know, so all that was then. And of course, there, ready, steady, go, all the music there. And more examples, obviously, of all the various Lambrettas, Vespers, etc. Nice book, though, but it could do with actually a bit more information in terms of... Uh, and, of course, it has got at the back, but it's... So, you've got, obviously, if you want to, you can go back there to find out Daily Mirror, the Sunday Mirror, Sunday Mirror. It would be fascinating if someone brought out a book of 
all the newspaper clippings, but actually the, the full page, so you could sort of see it in context, with obviously details, say, 1964. Also, of course, from like the Brighton newspapers, the whole newspapers. That would be a fascinating book. you got here, The Who. I was there. I wasn't there. The Who, I think, actually were in Maystone at some time. I didn't go to it. It was 1964 or something. I would have probably not going to be, be allowed. I think about three or four years old. Unlikely. But you've got Marquee Club. You've got people's memories of all the various concerts. I think it's always amazing people sort of remember. They obviously wrote very good diaries or have got brilliant memories because uh, if I tried to remember all the various concerts, ACDC, Black Sabbath, all those sort of bands, I went to see them. God, I couldn't remember if I, what I did, how much the tickets cost. Unfortunately, I never even kept the tickets, which I should have done, of course, because it's full of examples. People put their pictures of their tickets, various things obviously go into the places, the Federation Club, and many of these, I assume, are not around, the Flora Hall, and uh, you've got other things there. Lots and lots. Sometimes you've got two or three entries for a thing. You've got also autographs collected. Just fascinating to see like, the South Pier in Blackpool. This is a very good book. This one's The Soul Stylist by Paolo Hewitt. He's done quite a few books. However, sadly, it doesn't have any pictures. It's got lots and lots of snippets of information, obviously talking about the various clothes, the fashions, etc. Really fascinating background to the period. Uh, 1965, 66, etc. And a variety of different people have obviously written, but no photos. It really would have been a brilliant book if it had been packed solid with pictures as well. But still, very enjoyable to read. Now this book is superb. This one does have zillions of pictures and this is by Paul Smiler Anderson and Mark Baxter and it's just brilliant. Not particularly of course about mods, you can see of course it's Scor Scorcher, skin suede styles from the street and it's like got things about football etc but it's still full of some brilliant pics all the way through. Great examples of the period, ready steady go etc. And you've got some, yet again, more things like catalogues. Catalogue in this country, we've got lots of there and various posters, etc. And also other ones, Sue Records, we've got listings there. Just really good book and lots. I love these ones where he always puts the pictures of all the various singles. Unfortunately, of course, many of these singles are impossible to get. However, you can, of course, still listen to them on uh, various things, Spotify, uh, Alexa, or maybe on uh, YouTube, etc probably start off my uh, Amazon device by saying that word but you can see still more example but it's just full of obviously people's comments as well obviously talking about the time lots of the pictures of all the various clubs I went to the fashions as well just a truly a brilliant book and he's also produced some other books which I will be showing as well related to this as well again lots and lots of brilliant pictures all the way through this I love this one Absolutely. I've done a review already of this one. And also this is great as well. Lots and lots. This is the thing I love about books. The various uh, magazines as well. However, let's, let's go to the next one. This one is a really good book. Might be a bit harder to find. I'm not certain. Maybe you can get it. But Michael 60s, Lennon Jagger and the rest. It's quite for adults only. There is some. Yes. So it's probably uh, not for everyone. But still at the same time. It's got a nice there. All the best, etc. Obviously not to me, but it was obviously someone put this in a charity shop. I picked it up in a charity shop. I thought, oh, of the period. Fascinating. It's got all the time. There's a few pictures in here. Not a vast amount, but it's all about the band, his band, all the various things, what they were doing. But it was a mod band and oh, just fascinating. Ready, steady, go, etc. is mentioned all the way through this as well. So definitely worth checking out. Swing 60s London. Right place, right time. Be there, as it says. This one's Robert Elms, A Life in the Threads. I love his books. I really always enjoy it. Now, this is more about the fashions, but it still has obviously lots of references to 60s London, all the various fashions of the period. And it's a really, really good read. I love his radio show. Brilliant radio show. BBC Radio London. And of course, people will probably put in the comments below. It's not on BBC Radio London. Well, he was. I'm certainly still is as well. I haven't listened to it recently, quite often. Who knows? But uh, still... Absolutely fascinating read and worth checking out his other books as well. So this one also, of course, mentions other things. So you've got The Clash there, 1977, 78. I remember seeing The Clash. I love The Clash. But it does, of course, mod period as well. This one's a good one. Pretend You're in the War. And this is The Who and the 60s. 
not many pictures but it's got a few pictures so you've got some examples there obviously the mod period and there's lots and lots of information about the mod period as well so that's a quite an enjoyable read so mentions various bands the squadronaires whoever they were the shot the detours of course etc so it's, that's a good read this one rock and pop on british television and this one is uh, jeff evans um obviously not all of uh, mod music this is obviously you can see the list there but it also mentions lots of other shows of the period as well so it's just got this list but doesn't mean it's just solely on these ones so top and bobs ready steady go but you can there's not many pictures a few pictures but not much so you've got uh, that but you've got lots and lots of mentions of shows of the time so if you just sort of ones that sometimes were like on for about two or three episodes and that was it or maybe even a show that might just have one show they're all mentioned and it's it's really good also of course there are lots of shows done in various regional channels so you might not have heard of like the Geordie scene and things so it's a jam special etc so it's this is a fascinating if you're interested in the tv this book is very comprehensive with details about like the police dire straits and of course it's it's not just, of course, the mod period, but it's still got a, a sizable chunk of information about that period. Petula Clark, etc., the Go Go's, All My Loving, and those sorts of things. Worth checking out that book. This one is brilliant, and I'm just going to, very, very heavy. The Ready Steady Go book. Now, this should be readily available. You should be able to pick up a copy of this. This is just brilliant. The Weekend Starts Here, the definitive show of the show that changed pop TV. And this just got lots of examples all the way through, full of information, lots of people's memories, of course, of the show as well. Just example after example. It, it, it weighs a ton as well. You've got here Ready Steady Go, of course. Again, I've seen that uh, Daily Mirror one. Very obviously a very popular one to put in. Ready Steady Go, Mod Ball. And also many other examples of the artwork, etc., the bands that were on the and also at the back, which is even <clears throat> even better, is here. I'm just going to quickly go to the back. Oh, it's just going to clap. It's got a complete listing of all the various music, all the bands that were on the, for each of the episodes. So it's an absolute joy to read that. So if you want to sort of like, you think, oh, uh, let's see, uh, Mistletoe Love, That's My Girl, The Toggery Five. Now, if you want to find, actually see lots of those bands and things, not maybe The Toggery Five, I have no idea about them, but uh, Beat Club. If you go on YouTube and look for some of the uh, 60s TV, it's a German channel. But wow, it's just got so many of that period on there. And uh, obviously Swedish TV, Italian TV, lots of those. Sort of, they probably kept them a bit better than we did because, of course, there's 12 episodes, 12 episodes. That's it. Ready, steady, go. All of it was wiped, all gone. Unless, of course, they happen to find a, a massive uh, load of them sort of tucked away somewhere, which would be brilliant. Top Pops, of course, as well, and lots of the other shows that I said mentioned in the rock and pop one there, all gone. But uh, this one is an absolute joy and worth checking out if you want a really brilliant book about pop music of that period. This is a really good book. This one's of the period, Ready, Steady, Go. And I love it. It's uh, falling to pieces, but it's still got lots of great information. A bit more like an annual of the period, 1964, 65, that sort of time. It's all in black and white. Lots of great pictures of Adam Faith there, Marion Faithful, and lots obviously showing the, you know, it's not really, it's a bit of a superficial book, but still a joy to read. Obviously, the Beatles got a book recently, a Beatles book, that's got more pictures of that. Day and night people, so a bit like sort of what they were doing in the evenings and going out to the clubs, etc. There's mentions of various things, Rolling Stones there, as well as... I was a bachelor boy, sort of like uh, their love interest. Sort of thing. Obviously, it's all very much uh, Alan Price, etc., giving details about Chris Curtis. And of course, some of the people you might not even be familiar with now. So, But it's still my copy, like I say, is falling to pieces there. This book is, however, stunning. I love these books. There's two of them. This one and this one. Uh, absolutely superb. Tony, Tony Beasley, just an absolute gem. Masterpieces, these books. And this is full of pictures all the way through of the time. And you've got here all about 1962, 61, lots and lots of information about all the various fashions, about the clubs, about all the things they were doing, all the, the bikes, etc. Just lots and lots of pics of adverts of fashions there. Again, sit standing outside with their bikes, as well as, of course, record covers, even more records. Just 
it's just full of full of interviews with people of the period and their memories, of course. And it's just great. I love this book. Absolutely one of those ones that I dip into quite regularly, the Lincoln Ingram. And it's all across the country. It's not just London-centric. So if you come to this book, then you're always going to be about London. No, it's about Lincoln, Reading. Reading gets quite mentioned. I used to live in Reading. So it's quite fascinating, all the various clubs of Reading. And it's, it's just brilliant. Lloyd Johnson. Certain people get mentioned quite a lot. There's various memories of certain characters. Journey to Northern Seoul. And also, it doesn't just 1960s. This is 1970s Rebirth as well. The Secret Affair, etc. So there's lots and lots of great information. And it was continued in the next volume. This one is absolute joy. This one, the second testament of Mod. And this is one, Mojo Talking, under the influence of Mod. Again, full of just brilliant picks and articles all the way through, all the way up until modern time as well. Journey of early mod experiences. Always fascinating, that 61, 62 period. So it's a lot of information about that, lots of the memories about what was happening in London, as well as, of course, around the rest of the country. Peter Rickwood, Michael Frith, uh, Irish Jack Lyons, and so on and so on. Loads and loads of great photos of the time, people standing there getting... And also the clubs, all the various posters, more pictures, obviously people dancing there, the various, various concerts there, Influence and Mod, Rolling Stones, by just great. What a joy to read. These are just perfect. You should be able to find copies, I would have thought, but they might be out of print now, I don't know. But it's certainly worth, uh, worth checking out. If you haven't got them, these are definitely volumes you really should try and get. I've got here the Mod now, it would be nice if someone brought out a book of those uh, magazines, actually. That would be pretty great. Now, there is a Mod Zines magazine. I don't know how much in that. I haven't got that. That's one book I would love to get. I'm not certain why I haven't got that one. But you've got here the, the Roundel. Lots of clubs that I have no idea about, I must admit. Saturday Girls working in Tesco's and Woolworths. Just brilliant. What brilliant articles all the way through. Lots and lots of... Uh, Lovely photos again there with bingo, bingo, walk round store, whatever that was. I don't know where that is, Scarborough. So you've got Scarborough and, and many, many, many more pictures, politics of mod and so on. Two books that are really worth checking out. Now, of course, you can also get other ones of the period. These are, of course, the record mirror. If you're interested in these sort of ones, obviously you can still get copies of these on eBay, etc., Amazon, whatever. But you can also find copies of these sort of things in like the British Library. So that's worth checking out. Go to the British Library, just get a card for it and do some research. And you can uh, see all these sort of wonderful things. Obviously, have all the various posters and all the records that come down. And also, of course, it's got like the top uh, 50 of the time. So you've got Get Off My Cloud, The Carnival Is Over, Yesterday Man, Tears, My Generation, One, Two, Three, It's My Life, Here It Comes Again. Evil Hearted You, Still I'm Sad, Positively Four Street, and so on. Lots of great. Uh, so they're worth checking out. The Record Mirror, Enemy, Sounds, all those sort of brilliant ones. And this one, New Musical Express. Now, this is not, of course, all mod ones, but we've obviously got the Unit 4 plus uh, Concrete and Clay, of course. I love that one. And uh, Sonny and Cher. This one's falling to pieces. You've got Elvis and the Beatles facing death. And also you've got lots and lots of the uh, various concerts and things. And also Mod Daisy there, earrings. So you can get sort of the period. And again, you can find copies of these relatively easily on eBay. This one's brilliant. Enemy Originals. They produced a Mod one, I think. I did have it one time, Mod one. Or maybe it was the Who one, I'm not certain. But certainly you can... Original 60s. And swing in London. It has got quite a few examples of the uh, thing you've got here, like the small faces, etc. Steve Marriott. So you've got the verdict on pet sounds and it's articles of the period, which are always fascinating. I love those. And also, of course, lots of examples of all the records and also the reviews of the period, which is great. And also here, the guide to the clubs where it's happening. So you've got lots and lots of examples all the way through the Birds Week Stage Act. And, uh, well, let's see, and there's another great picture there, and so on, so on. London Swings. Absolutely gem. You might be able to find copies of this. Of course, this is probably about 10 years ago now. I have no idea. And you can see a lovely poster there, Enemy. And also some of the records of the time as well. Worth checking out. Now, this one here, this is brilliant. I love these ones. Paul Smiler, Anderson, 
yet another brilliant book. All these books are brilliant. I really hope he continues to bring out more of these books because they're just full of examples, pictures, obviously of all the various things. I love also the background as well, not just the people obviously in the picture, but all the backgrounds. And you've got all the various fashions, the clubs, the streets, the various places where people... And the posters, you know, John Stevens, look at I mean, just great, or Stephen, I should say, of London. Various other clubs, full of, full of, and this one's Reading, London, Liverpool, all what was happening all around the country. And also all the records as well. I love these little, you know, Pie International, Muddy Waters, Stateside, Chess, and again, posters, and also lots of the records. And also, of course, the scooters, etc. And, well, it's just, wow. This is just a brilliant book. And if you're into mod music, mod books, you really have to get this one. This is one of the best ones. The New Religion. Definitely worth checking out. Of course, ready, steady, go. Oh, wow. Oh, I love those discs. So obviously would have had all the music. Except, and I assume many people, of course, made many recordings of these things. So you've also, of course, got that ready, steady, go. I've seen that one. Never got a copy of it, though. Should have got a copy of that. But however... And you also you've got there, 30, 384 teenagers in the Soho room. Obviously the scene club in Ham Yard. We walk past Ham Yard quite often. It's always nice just to look down that way to see the scene club. Of course, long gone. You've also got uh, other posters there. This is just full of zillions of, obviously, Rod Stewart there. And of course you can find out more about sort of things. Obviously, Rod Stewart's book. It's got a lot of information about the mod scene as well, obviously, from his perspective. And you've got lovely more pictures there. And obviously on the back there, more examples. And this is just a brilliant book. Really worth checking out. This one's good. This one's very good. In fact, this is one of my earlier books I picked up. A very British phenomenon. This one is by Terry Rawlings. Uh, predominantly black and white, but there's some colour, of course, you can see there. Rod Stewart again. Some familiar, but obviously some of the pictures you sort of peer in a few books. But uh, you've got some colour there. You can see some of the magazines. And it's just great. Oh, I love that one. Look at that. The mod. Mod magazine. It'd be nice if someone brought out a copy of uh, so all those magazines, the mod. Who knows, maybe they will. And you've got other examples, pictures there. Now, it's not, I think, as good as some of these other books I've shown, but I think it's still a fascinating book. And of course, got uh, later as well. You've got the jam, etc. And going into the 1970s period. It's generally a pretty decent one with lots and lots of old photos. We're checking out. Next one here, and I've got uh, I've got a few left, but I've left some of the my favourite one actually to last. And I'm just gonna this one pocket guide. Now this is a bit smaller, not so many pictures in this one, but there's still some great little articles and also lots of mentions of lots of great records. And I love books of talking about the records as well, because of course you've got Spotify, Amazon Music, etc. You can listen to all these greats and it mentions it all the way through. So it's a, this is worth checking out. Like I say it's a slightly smaller book than uh, than most, but it still gives a lot of details. And this one is by Paul Smiler. Anderson again, because I love his books, and so I just had to get a copy of this as well. This one, this is not so great. I mean, it's okay, nothing wrong with it. Uh, mods, a way of life doesn't really seem to give actually much detail particularly about who's by so you've got carpet bombing culture there it's got full of lots of pictures it's a fairly smallish book but still full of very nice pics and information as well so uh, we're checking out but perhaps not my favorite of uh, all the mod books and some of the pictures are familiar from other books as well so you've got examples there and last but not least, this one is superb, again from Paul Smiler Anderson. I think Paul Smiler Anderson has produced some of the best books. Um, I just, just think they're absolutely superb. Whenever he brings them out, I just love it. Like I say, the Scorcher one, I think he's superb. This one, Mod Art. The music, graphics, fashion and art, it's just superb. It's full all the way through. Lots and lots of pictures, obviously, of the fashions again. All the various shops more adverts and things. I love books with adverts of things. They're just great. And you look at all the prices, you think, wow, actually some of them are quite expensive. 45 shillings, wow. Ready, steady, go, RSG. Just gorgeous. And these sort of chest full of goodies, number two. Absolutely brilliant. And of course, more various club, oh, all the various Georgie Fame and the Blue Frames, uh, Graham Bond Quartet. And when you look at them, you think, wow, mission, three shillings. Also various other things, magazines, beautiful mods, Mojo Club. And you've got the Mojo Club there. 
And again, got the membership cards. I love all those sort of things. This one, 1967. Some of the records, The Who. Great posters again. This book is just at Purple Hearts. Obviously, it doesn't just with the uh, 60s. This is goes off into the 70s. I love sounds. Sounds was my favourite. I love the sound. It was one of the ones I would regularly get the sounds. Enemy as well, but... And also the fanzines. There is a modzines one which I haven't got. Modzines magazine book. Uh, that's probably one I should get, but I haven't got. But this one is a brilliant book. I love this one. Sort of one I can. And of course, there's that Ready Steady Go book just there. And well, lots of other information in this book. Just a joy to read from start to finish. And that's it. That's all various mod books. Please put in the comments below of all the various mod books maybe you've got that I haven't got. It'd be really interesting to know about some others that maybe uh, that you think are just superb. I'd say I think it was a Mod Girls one that I have not got because it's crazily priced. So I never picked that one up. And there's probably other ones. So uh, like I say, comments below would be absolutely fascinating to hear. Well, I hope you found this a lot of interest and uh, please go and obviously go and find out some of these books. And I, I think some of them are just absolutely superb. We're checking out. You might be able to find them in secondhand shops or, of course, on various places like Amazon or eBay, etc. And, of course, other shops and books and things, places will also maybe have them as well. OK, bye.